Hello everyone. This just came in from Amazon. It's an IAC valve that will hopefully cure an idle control problem a lady is having with her car. I bought it for $17.99 and we're going to install it today on her Suzuki. First we're going to have to remove the snorkel to get down to the throttle body where the IAC valve is located. We're going to start with the airbox lid. There's four screws holding down the lid. Remove those now. This is the air temperature sensor. It's attached to the back of the snorkel and held by this clip. Next, remove the clamp that wraps around the throttle body. This is an air hose that recirculates engine gases back into the snorkel. And you can lift the snorkel up and out all in one piece. The IAC valve is located on the back of the throttle body. Undo the electrical connection. You'll need a stubby Phillips screwdriver to unscrew the valve because it's cramped in close to the firewall. If you tested the valve with a multimeter and it's showing good resistance, you won't need to replace it most likely. All you would need to do is remove it for the purpose of cleaning it off. This is our old and new IAC valve side by side. If you're keeping your old valve, this would be a good time to give it a good cleaning. Over the years, carbon builds up on the pintle so that it's unable to slide in and out of the bore the way it should. Clean off the pintle, clean the pintle with a metal brush and uh, spray it clean with a solvent. And that should do it. Okay, the Suzuki felt and drove great. The idle speed is smoother and consistently stays around 900 RPMs when it's parked. It took about an hour to complete this project and we paid under $20, making this a fast, easy, cheap repair for your vehicle. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.